Hundreds of taxpayers converged at a protest November 16th at the Washington headquarters of Goldman Sachs. Their objection? While the company is issuing multi-billion dollar bonuses to its executives, they are fighting against the financial reforms that would prevent a repeat of the financial collapse that required the company to accept $10 billion in taxpayer bailout dollars to keep the firm alive. The protesters were organized by National People's Action and the Service Employees International Union. They singled out as a key villain Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein, who recently was quoted in the London Times as saying he's doing God's work. It was that statement, coming as the firm is now paying out $23 billion in executive bonuses this year, that really rubbed protesters raw. Well, I'll tell you what his version of God's work did for Iowa. Iowa citizens got a 10% across the board budget cut from their governor. Right. That includes state workers, that includes prisons, it includes education, <laughs> universities, schools, social services, Louder. all of that. When uh, Goldman Sachs and Mr. Blankfein crashed our economy by inflating the housing bubble, that wasn't God's work. No. No. When they took $10 billion in bailouts and instead of using that money to stop foreclosures, to help the homeless, and to rebuild the local economies, instead they used that money to enrich themselves, that's not God's work. No. No. When they're paying themselves $23 billion with a B in bonuses, that's not God's work. No. In fact, I don't even believe by that action that they even know what God's work is. Yeah. That is the opposite of God's work. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Blankfein needs to own up and say they are doing the opposite of God's work. Yeah. We're doing God's work. National People's Action and SEIU delivered a letter addressed to Blank Fine calling for directing a significant portion of the company's estimated $23 billion bonus pool to a fund to prevent home foreclosures. Meanwhile, during the week of November 16th, Congress will be working on several important financial reform initiatives. The Senate Banking Committee will be marking up a bill that promises to reform regulation of financial markets. And the House Financial Services Committee will be working on legislation designed to protect consumers from excessive overdraft fees on their checking accounts. But expect uh, banking industry lobbyists also to be working overtime. Already, according to a public citizen report released November 16th, the financial services industry has spent $15 million in campaign contributions to members of the House and Senate Banking Committees, and a total of $42 million to all members of Congress. Public Citizens President Robert Weissman calls that an investment of millions in the very lawmakers who will decide the new rules of the road. It will take a lot of people power to overcome that flood of cash. This is Isaiah J. Poole, ourfuture.org.